So, you want to build a house from scratch? Well, the first thing you need to know is you need to know how to place some bricks, how to place some wood, how to nail, and how to probably put down some plaster. But here's the good news is that all those things can be done for you at the low, low price of $42.95 a month. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make a bed in pixel art here in Ace Sprite. Um, this can be done in any program, of course, Libra Sprite, GIMP, Photoshop, uh, even be done in paint, I believe, as long as you can zoom in far enough to use some pixels. So, let's go ahead and get started today. Um, we need to do more pixel art, and we're doing it today. Let's get started. I want to go ahead, and we're in a 32 by 32 uh, canvas. We're going to be in a 32 by 32. 32 by 32 canvas. Open that up. Don't see it. All right, so we have 32 pixels up and 32 pixels uh, across, which is good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, bed from the side, and we might do one from the front. We'll have to take a look and see what we have time for. But for now, we'll just start off with the uh, the side uh, the side view. So we're doing like a top-down angle, um, like a 45-degree kind of pixel art game. Uh, it's like a kind of standard uh, angle. So we're just going to go ahead and oops, we're just gonna go ahead and, and move something around like this. Uh, maybe do something like that. Have it come across that way. Uh, um, and we'll do like this, pull this across, this would be the pillow, get rid of these uh, edges, make it a little more round like a pillow, there you go, uh, and we'll go ahead and go down, and then we'll leave a space for the bottom of the bed, there we go, nice, this is looking gorgeous, we'll add in uh, the feet of the bed, uh, like this, but it's not big enough, so we'll move all this up, like like this and there we go yeah we'll round those pieces off there just getting rid of some of these edges as you can see this is basically be like a my process for creating this as always um and it's looking pretty good so far i will say so myself um i do want this to be more round here maybe like it's more a little bit more flat maybe on the on the bottom maybe uh, yeah that's good all right cool 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 um, now with this done, um, maybe we'll leave it like, maybe we'll leave it like this actually, the pillow, maybe not, um, I just want it to be like the same on this side, but it's not gonna be able to, it looks kind of strange, cause this piece is here, but it's, it's fine, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it up, we'll fix it up when we do the colors, it'll look better, better, alright cool, now, with this done, I'm gonna move this actually up, maybe that's why. Um, and then we'll do like that. Okay, that looks better. All right, nice. It looks a little bit more flat on this side because it's like pressed down in the bed. Looks good. Nice. Now I want this to be a little more round as well because it looks too sharp for the bed. Um, now we have the outlines done. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move on to color. So I'm going to use this nice little red color for the bed sheets. Um, that's way too red. Uh, there we go. Something like that. Maybe a little bit more saturated. We'll drag it down. Uh, darken it and saturate it a little bit and we'll put that there in the bottom maybe desaturate a little bit put put some red in this instead some sorry some pink in this instead of orange because it looks weird all right um but we need to also put black there so we cut that in half and then we'll go back and create like a whitish blue for the pillow hit g to bucket fill by the way so g and then b to go back to the regular regular brush or you can use the things over here on the side the right hand side also helps you out with that quite a bit um but there we go we're going to drop the color down quite a bit for the color of this there you go and then we'll drop it down again even further a little add a little bit of blue to it for that piece down there now for the edges, I want these to be brighter than the brighter, the, the lightest color that we have. So we'll just select the lightest color, which is this right here. And then we'll go ahead and we will move the slider up a little bit and then just paint in that lighter color like that. There we go. Nice. Now with this done, we'll do the same thing with the side over here. So we'll lighten the red color up a bit and then we'll just paint that back in right, oop, right there. Hold down shift to create a line, by the way, instead of just clicking and dragging like wherever. Uh, click once, hold down shift, and then move it around. There you go. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. It's missing something. You know what it's missing? Okay, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll do, we'll do that later. Let's finish the rest of the color first. Um, for the uh, legs of the bed, I'm going to do brown. So we'll do a nice little brown color. Very simple. I think we might maybe add one pixel of shading <laughs> like that to make it look like it's round. Maybe. 
darken or desaturate. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Why the heck not, actually? Um, nice. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and do the pillow. So let's just select the pillow. Drop the color down a little bit. Um, maybe a little bit more than that, actually. And then we will go ahead and probably color this in like this. And that looks pretty good, if you ask me, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, I want to maybe uh, put this in half. So turn the opacity down about halfway by sliding this little slider right here underneath the color. Put it about halfway. And then we can go ahead and put in some shading up there. And then um, we'll grab the lightest color that we have for the, the main color of the pillow, like that. And then we will go uh, back and drop the opacity of this. And then we'll do the same thing, but just um, the opposite. So we'll... Do something like that. Oh, I actually hate that. We'll do this and that, and then we'll put this like that. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Much better. Much better. Nice. So that's done. Now the last thing that I want to do is I do want to make the this line art a different color. Um, so let's go ahead and try and see if we can match the color to all these different things. So let's grab. Let's start with the red first. The red actually probably could be darker. There we go. Let's start with the red. We'll create a really dark, dark, dark red color with that's a little desaturated. And then we will go ahead and all the places where there is red, we will go ahead. Oh, we will go ahead and paint all the red line art in so it looks proper. There we go. Um, now for this down here, the wood. I'm gonna select the darkest color of the wood that we have. Then drop it down, desaturate it. You don't want it to be saturated. It's gonna be really, really hard to look at. Um, there we go. Very subtle effect. And then for the pillow, darkest color we have. Drop it down a lot. Maybe actually even more than that. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, now with this done, we need to go ahead and do the last color, which is this right here. So grab that, drag it down a little bit, and it's basically gonna be the same color as this. We might as well just actually use it for the entire thing. That looks weird though, but I don't like it. So we'll darken it some more. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're in business. Okay, there we go. Subtle difference. Looks really good. That's just makes us look so much better um, from so far away. Um, but yeah, so that's the that's the bed from the side. I don't believe we should probably do the bed from the front. It's gonna be the same exact thing, just taller, obviously. But um, but yeah, so that is the uh, that's the bed right there. It looks really good. Um, I do want to maybe add one thing in. So let's go ahead and eye drop this, put this like this, um, and then. Uh, ooh, do I want to do it like that though? I should we'll pull that like that, I suppose. Uh, do I want to do it like that though? What does that look like? That's fine. That's all right. That's good. Okay. That works. That works. That works. That works. That works. That works. And then for this, we go ahead and eye drop and put that in there. So it's like a little, the, the sheet part, like this, the part that laps back over, you know? This is the part. Yeah, right there. There you go. Looks so much better. I want to maybe put some kind of design on the bed as well. So let's maybe see if I can do something with some yellow, maybe like a, some stars or something like, like this, you know, something like that. Maybe. I don't think we can get away with that. I think I want to maybe actually make it a little bit more dim and see if we can get away with it. Like this, right? Okay. Maybe something like that. Um, maybe a pattern. Let's try a pattern out. Let's do a, really quickly a pattern. Um, let's do stripes. Let's see what stripes look like. That works perfectly, by the way. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, let's lighten it. Nice. And then we will um make it a little bit more orangey. And we'll darken it a little bit. There we go. We're still half opacity over top of the other color, so it kind of blends in nicely, which looks really, really good. That is our bed. Very, very nice. Very cool. Look at that. Very stylish, actually. What can I say? Um, but yes, I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today in the world of pixel arting. But, um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.